Good morning and welcome to Found in the Ground. I'm out on my detecting bike, new permission. Let's go detecting. <laughs> Better not be a start as you mean to go on, Manticore. Uh, fairly modern four hole a button. Yeah. There's something glistening in this early morning sunshine here. And I've got, I wanted to believe it was silver, but I think it's a greenie and I think it's a greenie coin. Could I be wrong? There's something about it. No. No, it's a greenie. Looks to be, oh, it's a Vicky. No, no, it's not, it's a Georgie. Ah, going through a transition there. <laughs> Went from uh, female to male in the blink of an eye. There's a modern age that we live in. And here we are, good day to you, sir. Half penny, George the fifth. Not a terrible start to the day. So for a little bit of fun today, me and Cy Fines are gonna join up via these videos um, as best we can. He's digging down um, South Way, and I'm obviously up here in Norfolk. Um, we can't dig together today, but we can link in, and we're gonna go for a find of the day competition, which will be judged by our good friend, Chris Addicted to Bleeps. Um, he has got a new channel where he works now, so I'll put a link to that in the uh, description below this video, but it's a great place that scraps cars and does all kinds of stuff with them. It's super fascinating, and obviously it's done with Chris's great style, so please check that out. But um, yeah, we're gonna have a competition. I'll give him a call in a bit and let him know that I'm up to a George the Fifth half penny and three buttons. Don't think I'm gonna win at this point what look at this is this a piece of ammonite <laughs> what that's got to be a fossil i'm not massively awesome on fossils i don't find a lot but that looks like an ammonite in the middle of a norfolk field if somebody knows otherwise please tell me because why there's that extra bit there it's like maybe there's two ammonites ah awesome just had another little coin come up and I think I know I struggled with one of these recently <laughs> I think it's a little sixpence good day to you mom and the last one was a um a Lizzie sixpence yeah there we go it's all gone orange it's not a silver one yeah two coins already not bad found something awesome Best one I've ever found by a million, million miles. Could be my contender for find of the day. I've just tried ringing Simon, but he's not answering. Dude, it ain't gonna work if you don't answer the phone. Right, check this out, actually. I'll take you down to it rather than bring it up because I'm a bit silhouetted at the moment. Right, what a thing. Can you see it? Can you? <laughs> it's huge. Look at that. What a monster. It's a huge great. Um, stirrup I don't think it's super super old but you know it's flipping decent such an awesome bit of history a real chunk you always think of cowboys and the wild west with these sorts of things but you know they were absolutely everywhere that is I know it's not complete they very rarely are, but that's almost complete in the scheme of things for what we do. Look at that. I'm absolutely made up with that. That is awesome. Oh. <laughs> Who lost that? When? What happened? Did your foot slip? <laughs> oh, right. Okay. Let's move on. How exciting. Here we go. Back to the stirrup. Check it out. I didn't realise all the detail that's on there oh my days look at that that must all be engraved that is incredible and it's all the way around I had to stick it in the mud there just to get the right angle but look all the way around whoa that would have been super super fancy oh my days 
that fun gets better and better. Simon, you better find something awesome today because that, that's ridiculous. Right, there we go. Hello, Simon. Nice All right, Dave, how you doing? Mate, pretty good, pretty good. Yourself? Yeah, not bad, mate. Just started. I've been, uh, I've been out with newbies today, so I'm teaching them how to use their machines, which is eating up all my time. But uh, yeah, we've uh, we only just really started. How are you the getting stress. on? The stress of having to teach those noobs, eh? Um, yeah. yeah, mate. So I'm at this new commission. I'm on. Um, I'm checking out one. Of, I've got three fields to look at today, and I've just finished the first one. And um, I'm just telling everyone that we're going to do find of the day. Chris addicted to beeps is going to decide which one's the best. And um, I may I may lose signal. <laughs> well, you're going to win with what I've seen so far. Yeah, mate. Signal's pants. Right, but... I lost you there for a bit, mate. Yeah, yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've sent you a picture That's of that spur. Okay, well, look. I'll, we've, so far, we've found two horseshoes and a spanner and two buttons, so you haven't got much to uh, <laughs> compete with, unfortunately. And I'm on pasture as well, so... Oh, mate. Yeah. Oh, that, that sucks. But I've only got two and a half hours left. You've got the rest of the day. And I've got more detectors. So does that count? Can I, can I include Cuffs in this as well? He's over there. <laughs> How am I even going to know? <laughs> yeah, there we go. At least I'm being honest. <laughs> Mate, awesome. Look, I'm going to crack on and I'm going to get on the old Tekken yeah. bike, head over to a different field and um, see if I can find some silver or gold. You enjoying that bike? Mate, it's awesome. I just zipped across like a mile from where the car is. I parked the car somewhere safe, you know, where you, don't, you don't hurt your car. And then just went off road. I even chased some deer. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't get arrested, will you, for chasing deer? No, no, I'm not sure that's a thing. I don't know. But, mate, best of luck. I'll catch up with you later on. And we'll, um... All right, mate. We'll get some luck in the luck. Don't want too much luck for you. Yeah, all right, we'll try our best. See you soon. Later, mate. Bye, bye, bye. Right, that was nice to catch up with Sai. It's good to hear he hasn't found too much. <laughs> so I've got a good chance today. And now, um... Oh, my God, it's wet. Oh, <laughs> I'm heading over to uh, another two fields. Shouldn't really be going over the ruts this way. Oh, it's bouncy. This is a good test for the GoPros. Oh, gimbal. Yeah, squishing around there in the muck. Yeah, he's on the pasture today. He's only found a few buttons, nothing special. Whereas that spur is awesome. So um, I'm in with a good chance, I reckon. But I've only got two and a half hours left. Whereas he's, um, he's got the rest of the day. So um, what can you do? I'll have to get really, really lucky in a small amount of time. But that's what happens in metal detecting. You can have an hour out and find the best find of your life. Spend a lifetime finding nothing. It's the beauty of it, <laughs> I guess. Right, I'll see you on the next <laughs> piece of find. 39 to 40. have that out really 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 want to find a roman area on this permission oh, <laughs> very clay rich the soil here all the fields that i've covered so far which is now five of them they're all quite big they've all been very clay rich so it may be the case across the whole farm sounding a bit wispy if I turned it over in the hole. I think that was the case, because now it's out. Right, what do we got? What are you? Ah, <laughs> it's a watch winder. I haven't had one of these in ages. Yeah, dainty little watch winder there. It's a cool little thing. I do like them. It's a really, really delicate one. Nice. First find on this new field. Bit more evidence of the shoddy trade being around here, but uh, not finding anything like domestic settlement-y or um, marketplace or transit route or anything like that yet. It's all just been sort of casual losses. But 
I've still got an hour and a half or so to go and I'm already beating Simon so I can relax. Although I won't be relaxed at work thinking, what is he going to find? <laughs> First find in a long time that's not a shotgun casing. There's a little pistol ball. Yeah, it's been just shotgun, 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 shotgun. Really, really disheartening. So many targets, you get so excited, but they're all rubbish. Cold. So you sent me um, a picture of uh, a lead toy. Yeah, a little, little horse. Yeah, this is a little lead horse, but where we are, there's uh, they keep horses, so the owner's going to be well happy with that. Um, I was thinking, that's, um, that's a lady on a horse. That's a bit different, isn't it? Is it? I just don't know. I, think, I don't think it's got a, I don't know. Has it got a head on or what? Well, I, I watched this thing about ladies riding horses and it's not side saddle. So if it's a lady riding regular style, that's quite controversial. But then they did wear those little um, those shirt things, didn't they, back then? I think it might be um, like, you know, like old fashioned dress. Saying that, it does look a little bit female. Yeah, mate, um, that's, that's, that's my thoughts, but, you know, happy to be wrong, oh, right. Pops. Well, there's a, I see a little sword, a little cutlass. I'm going to give this to the landowner anyway, because, uh, like I say, she keeps horses, so she'll be over the moon with something horse-related. Um, yeah, and uh, I found that an interesting little lead token. So muddy here, it's boggy and muddy in pasture, so it's hard work. Um, but, yeah, it's like an interesting in a token I think you know you get the 17th century tokens like the one you found and I ID'd for you yes you did yeah well it's like a lead, yeah it's like a lead version of that uh, I'm going to clean it up and see what it says and if it's legible looks like it might have a wheat sheaf on it but it's quite cool I mean Cuffs was quite excited about it I, didn't, I couldn't work out what it was I thought it's well yeah it's just an unusual little thing we thought it might be a little seal at, at first so yeah it's kind of cool I like that Hey, that's decent, but neither of us have had anything silver. <laughs> yeah. Are you? Uh, how much longer have you got? Mate, I've got about half an hour, if that, and these fields are hard work, so I'm not expecting much. Well, not everything's silver, mate, you know. When I see the owner's face when I show this horse, that'll be worth more than a bag full of your Norfolk silver. <laughs> <laughs> Where is that bag of silver? It's not here. <laughs> okay, Dad, mate. Apparently, she's making a shepherd's pie in a minute, so I'm going to call it a day soon as well. Is she? Yeah. Wait, that, that's the find of the day right there. Oh, well, uh, it's like a family thing, you know, they've all got the kids out, and, the, and the, there's like three guys all called Vinny, which is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Granddad or the dad, the son, and the little, you know, the I don't know, granddad, dad, son sort of thing. They're all called Vinny. Yeah, yeah. So they're putting on bread for us. So I can see myself just sacking this off and going in for some grub and warming up. <laughs> well, mate, I'll take that. Given that you know you haven't come up with anything better than my um, spur, so um, I haven't got to worry at work that you're finding something. <laughs> no, I don't think so. That's a lovely thing, though, mate. Well, I mean, that's a hard one to beat. I'd prefer that over a lot of coins because it's just so such a personal, beautiful little item. And I haven't found one, so I'll be, I'll be over the moon with that. So well done, mate. Fair play. Mate, it, it is a nice one. I mean, I found a few bits of spares, but that detailed engraving is something else. That's, that's really, really awesome. I love that. Plus, it's got the word Spurs in it, and they're the best team on the, uh, the world has ever seen. I have to so edit. I'll have to edit that out. I'm sorry about that, everyone else. I do apologise oh, about his language sorry, there. That. I lost you there, mate. I lost you there, breaking <laughs> up. But enjoy your shepherd's pie. We'll get our find of the day over to Addicted to Bleeps and he can decide what the best one is. Puts the pressure off us. Mm. I wonder who will win that. <laughs> Although, I lost if it's 20 quid, maybe you'll just choose mine. <laughs> <laughs> Bribery is an option, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, see you a half hour and I'll speak to you later. Later, bye, Sight. I already have an awesome time metal detecting, but this bike just taking it to another level. It's so much fun skipping between fields. <laughs> I'm on a completely new field now, but I'm going to push forward further down to another field. I'm hoping the further and further I get away from these relatively quiet fields, I might have something 
fit special going on. Maybe, possible. Oh shoot! <laughs> that was quite a big jump there. <laughs> right, here we are. Oh god, no, big divot. No! <laughs> I nearly went right over then. <laughs> you have got to be careful, haven't you? And I should wear a helmet, but... What can you do? I saw all this extra stuff to carry around. I will get one, I promise. I'm going to get a Tectin helmet. Gosh, imagine how long it would take to walk to these fields. They're massive. Right, heading over to where I'm going to set up. Bloody shotgun. This has just popped up. It was just underneath the surface here. I just had to lift up the flap almost. And there it was. I think it's a little, it's a little token. Um, they often say like, they're like from Holland and stuff and say Zealandia and things on them, but it's gonna need a little clean up, a very delicate one to get any kind of idea on that one. Yeah, it's all just mucky. Right, gentle clean up and we'll see what we've got. Yeah, cleaned it up. I'm still not. No, nope, no idea. I'll um I'll do some research, but it's nice. It's a little token. There's some business on the back there. Look, it's like a coat of arms maybe in there. Not really sure. Lovely. I've only got about ten minutes left. If I find nothing else, that was a pleasant way to end the day. Well, that's the end of today's little hunt. It was only four hours just before uh, I go to work, but managed to get that lovely little um, spur. I kept calling it a stirrup and I'm such an idiot. <laughs> but the, the spur was absolutely phenomenal and I can't wait to give it a gentle clean up, obviously, and uh, get some high res photos of all of that engraving. <laughs> So um, Simon's probably not got too long left if he's going to go and have a shepherd's pie. Um, so fingers crossed, he doesn't bring up anything, anything better. I don't mean that. I hope he finds something awesome. But, you know, it's a competition after all. So um, what we'll do then is uh, we'll get both those finds over to Chris and he can make a decision. That'll be straight after this. But I've got to pack up all my gear, which I've decided to use these little bags, which you get absolutely everywhere to stop my rucksack getting full of mud to transport my equipment around because I'm not used to being so mobile like this normally I park up and walk from the car to the fields and end up being sort of controlled by that that route today I've just done whatever I want Whoop. so yeah you just stick your um your dirty spade and dirty detector in these bags and then shove them in your rucksack job flipping done and then that can go on your back and you can zoom off back to the car right look okay then you've asked me to judge your stupid competition they're both awful well they're not awful but anyway yeah no they're not awful they're not awful i'll take i'll take that back i love the i love simon's lead horse um, with no head just because i watched sleepy hollow the other day and it reminded me of that and I liked that, and I thought that the horse was quite classy. It looked like a classy horse. The head wasn't horseless, you know, like godfathered. It was just that the geezer was horseless, headless even. And I thought that was good. I enjoyed that. I, I liked the ambiance of it. Um, the stirrup's uh, just a stirrup. Uh, it's just a bit of a thing you put your foot in. It doesn't even look cool, does it? I was trying to explain to you two that... 
Okay then, the stirrup huh? is a little bit of a shoe. A horseman with no head on a horse. That's where your eyes go, isn't it? You don't look at a stirrup. Huh? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm going to stick with that. Yeah, I'm going to go for the um, I'm going to go for the headless horse. I think. I'm joking. I've got to go for the stirrup. Huh? So nice because it's historical. I do like the headless horse, but yes, the stirrup. Huh? Are you okay now? Better. All right. Love you all. Bye. I'm loving my e-bike and if you want one of these check out the video description you'll see a link to where you can buy these and get my code uh, will get you a hundred pounds off as well I absolutely love it it's time for me to do one bye for now